Hi, today we're going to introduce Smart Meter to make this information easy available to users so that they can be more aware of their electrical consumption and act upon it. The data can send from microcontroller to smart Android device for real-time data visualization upon successful authentication login. The user can set high alert on high current electrical usage. This shows the current temperature and the current humidity that uh, it actually retrieved from the firebase. Uh, you can see for the control portion that uh, actually uh, we, we just implemented four functions and when we can switch on, it will light up and uh, we can actually control the intensity, the brightness. So we, this is disabled, it means that uh, we don't use any timer at all. So you can just switch on and it actually uh, Rotates. Yep. Now it's 51 cm. We'll connect to the uh, FCM, which is representing the fire based cloud messaging service. As now, I, my apps is still in the foreground, so you'll see this uh, notification uh, on top here. So when you scroll down uh, to the alert tray, you'll see that. Okay, so what we have here is a uh, water flow sensor. Okay, where the water will flow through this, and we have the uh, microprocessor, which is the uh, Raspberry Pi, um, running the Python script, uh, JSON data, and push it up to uh, Firebase Android app. Stream the data from Firebase. So what you see here is the main screen where we are looking at the total consumption, accumulated consumption, um, against a preset threshold. Okay, for this project, we are using the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we are using a switch that hook up to the Raspberry Pi to simulate water consumption. The program is written by Norit. So this is how the Norit is. You can see the dashboard. So from here, you can see the updating of the sensor from here. Yeah. This actually will be updating. My project is about uh, home automation and monitoring. So there are three nodes I created. The first node is the door node. This is a simulation of uh, room nodes, including like uh, all the lights. Okay. The last node is the, the appliance. It's a simulation of appliance. I use the relay to simulate uh, the switch to control the appliances. So when you press the button in, the, in your app, message will send to the cloud, which is the AWS cloud. So uh, the door, the message will go to room lights. So this is a message I sent just now. I try to turn on the red LED. When it's turned on, then it will send a message down to the controller. Then it will turn on the red LED on the hardware side.